Today I'm going to be showing you how to view the sun and moon information on your Nixon high tide watch. Now I'm using the black and silver model, it shouldn't matter which version of the watch you've got, this video should work the same for everybody. So the first thing you're going to want to do on this is you, you want to make sure that your location is set correctly because your location is going to be what drives both your tide information as well as your sun and moon information. So I'm going to show you real quick how we can do that. If we hold down the bottom left button, that'll take us into our settings and then we can simply press the bottom right button to progress to all of our different settings as we keep pressing it one of the options we will get to is our location screen now we can use the top buttons up here to move down or up to choose our given zone then we're going to press the bottom right button to select our zone then it takes us into our subregion we can go down choose our subregion and then we're going to choose the given beach that we want. Now once we've got that done, we can press the bottom left button or we can just let it time out and that will confirm our changes and that will also change our uh, information so that we're looking at information for that current beach. If you want to make sure that it took uh, correctly, you can press the upper right button to switch your view and you'll see the beach of choice will kind of flash across the screen. So we've got our beach correct, now our tide information is correct, and our sun and moon information should be correct as well. To get to your sun and moon information, it's pretty easy. All you're going to do is you're going to press the bottom left button, that's your mode button. Right now I'm in the tide mode, if I press it once, it'll take me into sun and moon, and I can see the sun and moon information for the given beach that I've got selected. At the top you're always going to see your date and time, at the bottom you're always going to see the current moon phase, as well as a description of it, it's a waning moon. And then you can see the sunrise and sunset information, again, for the beach location that you've selected. You're going to want to choose the uh, beach that's closest to you, but maybe you want to look at a different beach. That's how you can do it. Whatever location you have set that we just looked at, that's going to be the information you're seeing here. One of the disappointing things about this watch, the cool thing is you can leave it on this screen as long as you want to. So if you always want to see the moon phase, sunrise and sunset information, you can leave it just like this. If you press the bottom right button, it will take you to the next full moon or new moon and you can go as far in the future as you want to but unfortunately you can't go to the next day so you're not going to be able to say oh show me what the moon phase is going to be tomorrow or the next day or the next day if we press it it takes me all the way to the next new moon press it again takes me to the next full moon press it again takes me to the next new moon so on and so forth i wish it would just let you progress per day if you wanted to uh, but unfortunately, that's not an option on this watch. There's other watches out there like the Garmin Instinct that you can go to uh, as specific of a day as you want to and see the sunrise, sunset, and moon information. Anyway, that's a quick look at it. Once you're done, you can either leave it here or you can again press the mode button, the bottom left button, and go to whatever other screen you want to stay in. I think most people buying this watch would probably keep it in the tide screen. That's a quick look at looking at the sun and moon information, I'm sorry, the sun and moon information on your Nixon High Tide Watch. I hope the video helps.